I've got the recipe, y'all, and just in time for Thanksgiving, the sweet potato casserole from Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Oh! <laughs> Welcome to my channel, Restaurant Recipe Recreations, a channel dedicated to teaching you how to create your favorite signature recipes from the most popular restaurants. And like I said, Ruth's Chris Steakhouse sweet potato casserole. I mean, yes! And this video today also happens to be a request video. So Sadie, enjoy your Ruth's Chris Steakhouse sweet potato casserole. And if you have a restaurant or a recipe that you would like me to feature, go ahead and drop it in the comments section below. I promise I'll take a look at it. But be sure that you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and that way you'll be notified when your episode comes up. So let's go ahead and get into the Ruth's Chris sweet potato casserole. And like I said, just in time for Thanksgiving. Now, many of you already know that I had a very long career at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. I was sales and marketing director for about 10 years. And when I was there, and I'm sure it's still the case today, the sweet potato casserole was one of the most popular side dishes. I mean, literally, it flew out the door. But when I found the recipe, I was surprised to see how few ingredients are really in it. And sometimes, you know what? Simplicity is best. And I'll even give you some pointers on how you can make this the day before. Um, and then that way it just makes your holiday entertaining a little bit easier for you. And what you're going to need are four medium sized sweet potatoes, brown sugar, pecans, flour, regular white cane sugar, a stick of butter divided in half, one egg and vanilla extract, and a little bit of salt, that's it. I do wanna mention, however, that in the interest of time, I went ahead and baked off my sweet potatoes first. Um, they were in the oven for about 45 minutes or so, 350. What you're looking for is that they are completely soft all the way through. Make sure that they are completely cooled down. So stick them in the refrigerator once you take them out of the oven because you're going to be incorporating a raw beaten egg into the mixture. You want to make sure that your potatoes are not at all hot or warm because you don't want to scramble the eggs in the mixture. Just make sure that you get all the skin off. Maybe go ahead and cut it into some smaller pieces. If you don't happen to have a stand mixer, um, then just put all of these ingredients into a large uh, mixing bowl and uh, get out your regular hand mixer. To the sweet potatoes, add three-fourths of a cup of just regular white sugar, one-fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt, one-fourth of a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one-half of a stick of unsalted butter, uh, softened, you wanna make sure that your butter is nice and soft, and one well-beaten egg. And of course, the universal egg beater, which is a dinner fork. But again, I just wanna mention the importance of making sure that your sweet potatoes have been completely cooled. Because once you add this egg into the mixture and turn the beater on, if your potatoes are hot in any way, they'll cook the egg, they'll scramble it in the mixture, you'll have to throw it out and start over. So again, I just wanted to mention that. So add your one egg to the mixture, and then turn the mixer on about a medium low or so, and then while that is mixing, We'll make this easy as can be uh, topping, pecan topping, uh, and then it's ready to go in the oven. I mean, right? This might be one of the shortest videos I've ever produced. I have here three fourths of a cup of chopped pecans, but you want these to be smaller than just regular like chopped pecans. So I'm gonna put these into a small food processor. Make sure that your food processor is very dry. So you don't want your pecans to be ground down to a powder. You do want there to be a little bit of a heft, like a body, a consistency left to the pecans. So just sort of pulse them for, well, you saw how long, I don't know, a few seconds. Now just add a fourth of a cup of all-purpose flour, three-fourths of a cup of brown sugar, and a half of a stick of melted unsalted butter. And then just mix thoroughly. Get yourself a porcelain casserole dish or another non-stick type casserole dish. And even still, uh, it might not be a bad idea just to hit it with a little bit of cooking spray just so, so that it doesn't end up sticking. Make sure that the sweet potatoes are distributed evenly throughout the casserole dish so that you get a nice consistent bake. Just sprinkle the crumb topping over the entire top of the casserole dish. Make sure that every little bit of the sweet potato is covered with the topping. 350 degrees, center rack, 30 minutes, perfect. Now my recommendation is that you can make the sweet potato filling the day or two days before. 
Um, but I would hold off on making the pecan topping until you're ready to put it in the oven. So Sadie, I hope you enjoyed the video. Happy Thanksgiving. And I'd like to give a shout out to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. Still to this day, one of my favorite restaurants in the world. All right, the moment of truth. Just like I remember it. And to the rest of my viewers, until I see you again, make it an awesome, awesome day. Cheers, I love y'all. And for more recipes from Ruth's Chris, check out right here.